Hey guys, today I'm going to show you some fidget spinner tips, tricks, and like unboxing kind of, or kind of like review more like. So I just got this fidget spinner yesterday. I think it's one of the, whoops, dropped it. I think it's one of the copy ones because this is what it came in. It just says accessories, best, and it had, um, cool, and original high quality, which it's kind of weird to have on a package back accessories there is no there is no best only better products no commas on the back and enjoy the best quality made in china everything's made in china and then they here it is just like a normal one it's really nice got it off amazon uh i don't so nice and cool i think the caps uh, I'm not gonna take them off. I need to like put a knife under there to get off the caps, but the caps do come off What I don't understand about fidget spinners is why would they waste the money on this? These are ball the weights are ball bearings on the sides She doesn't oh, I keep dropping it doesn't make very much sense to why they would spend the money Which like I mean you can do like this. I can't my fingers are oh man ah, My fingers aren't long enough that I can do it like like with one hand, but yeah. I personally like to use my um, my middle finger and my thumb to spin it. And then like when I want to have speed, I do it like that with my other hand. And then, but I like spinning it in one hand by just putting my index finger in one, inside one of the holes and then just giving it a like nice little flick. It'll spin pretty good that way. And some tricks, um, you can just do, ah. Uh, here's the simple one finger, thumb. Yeah, simple. Then, another trick is, oh, there it is, I, learned, I got it first try. I mean, I know it's only like a couple inches, but that trick, you know, I'm gonna try it one more time. That one takes a little bit of practice, but <laughs> now I keep dropping it, sorry about that. And, it does take a little practice, but there it is. Um, the fake one, it's hard to tell if it's fake or real. Ah, keep dropping it, but there it is. Another thing I like to do is spin it really fast and then just like wobble it a little. It's cool because it just like feels nice and weird. And yeah. Um, oh, sorry, uh, I have the um, Nats versus St. Louis baseball game playing in the background, so you might be able to hear that. Um, but here it is. No. I'm not that good at it, but still. Let me try to bounce it on my knee. You know, just... No. But this trick, probably one of the hardest tricks. I don't really know that many tricks. You can also do it like just like balancing it on top of a finger. But it's pretty hard. Ah, hit my finger. But there it is, so um, I think these are really cool. You can find them for like one and a half dollars, but those, they take like a month to ship because they're fake and from like China. This one took uh, like two or three days to ship. I don't really know, but I still think it's fake. Ah, keep dropping it, but uh, here you go. You gotta get that. Here it is, um, well, here it is. Um, Okay guys, I decided to do a spin test to see how long it could spin. I will time lapse it. And I did turn down the quality a little bit on my phone, camera, whatever. And like, so basically like, cause um, if I went, I went to 720p, cause then I can film at 240 frames a second and it looks different. Um, Like it looks kind of, it looks cooler on camera. So that's why I did that. Um, now I'm gonna do like a, how long it can spin for. Um, so three, two, one, start. And as you can see that it looks pretty cool cause it's like going backwards really.
so that spawned for six, about 60 seconds. It looks like I cut it a ton of times in the time lapse because it's just going too fast and it looks like it's in reverse and it is slower than it was. But it did, it was 60 seconds, about 60 seconds. Pretty good. And you know, here it is. That's it. That's basically it for this video. Well, that is it for this video. Please like and subscribe. Buy a fidget spinner, and I'll see you next time. Bye.